variation. There's three key phrases when we're talking about how, how one variable varies in relation to another. Phrase number one, when you see something like y varies directly to x, or as x, or y is directly proportional to x, the key word is directly. The rest of the phrasing may change. But if you see, it doesn't have to be y and x, it could be whatever variables you're using, but uh, we'll use y and x here. If y varies directly as x, then that translates, from words to symbols, that translates to y equals k times x, where k is some constant. Every time. If you see directly proportional to, or y varies directly to x. If you see y varies inversely to x, that's the key word there, inversely. That means y equals k divided by x. If you see three variables and, and z varies jointly, the key word is jointly, to x and y, that means z equals k times x times y. Or z is jointly proportional to x and y. It, it means z equals k times x times y. So keep that in mind as we go through uh, just a few examples. Now, in the first couple of examples, there's no context here, but this data, these actual numbers, you get them by experiment in, in real life science. You get, the, you get these numbers by experiment. Suppose y is equal to 80 when x equals 5. So you could get those numbers by measurement, right? And then we want to find the variation constant when y varies directly as x, or y is directly proportional to x. You'll see both phrasing. So if you look at, at, the, at the words to symbols above, number one says, when you see this keyword, you're gonna take whatever, whatever letter is here, it doesn't have to be Y, and whatever letter is here, and you're gonna set up, you're gonna translate to symbols as Y equals K times X, where K is a number, it's some constant number. The point is X and Y can change, but K won't. Well, we can find, by particular measurements of x and y, we can find k. So the idea is this. You know that when x equals 5, you can measure somehow that y equals 80. So the idea is if you want to find k, just plug and chug, right? So you're going to plug in a 5 there and an 80 there. So 80 is equal to k times 5, or 5k equals 80 if you prefer. <coughs> if you turn the equation around and turn the multiplication around. Oh, what do you do to find k? Divide both sides by 5. What's 80 divided by 5? 16. So it said find the variation constant when, uh, in this case, part A, Y varies directly to X. So K equals 16, you can, you can take it a step further. You can find the variation equation. So technically, this is the answer to the problem, but you'll also need to find the variation equation. And I just want to point out what that is. Oh, you just fill this in with what K is equal to. So Y equals 16 times X. It's just a linear equation in this case. So that's the variation equation where k is 16. What's the key word here in part B? Y varies inversely as x? Inversely. So if you don't have the words to symbols memorized, just go back up here. Oh, it's number two. When you see y varies inversely to x, then that means y equals k divided by x. So write that down right away. Y equals K divided by X. And then you know from the given, you know that X is equal to 5 and Y equals 80. Those are measurements that you know. So X, uh, well, uh, it's usually told, the story is usually told in, in terms of the, what we would think of as the dependent variable, the, the output variable Y. So Y is equal to 80 when um, X is equal to 5. So this is the given information, the given measurements or given data. Okay, so we want to find K. So what do I do? What am I going to plug in for Y? 80. What am I going to plug in for X? 
five and then fill in the rest. What do you get for K? What's five times 80? You'd have to multiply both sides by five, wouldn't you? So 400. So there's your variation constant. What would your variation equation be? So just fill this in. Y equals 400 divided by X, and, th and that really is a rational function or rational equation, isn't it? So that's why, that's why this application is included in this section, because you get fractions basically in your equation. Finally, suppose Z varies jointly with X and Y, and suppose Z equals 1600 when Y equals 80 and X equals 5. Okay, remember, when you see Z varies jointly to X and Y, jointly is the keyword, and it means Z equals K times X times Y. So we're going to plug and chug what we know and use that information to find K. So we're going to plug in 1600 for Z. K will stay K until we find it. We'll plug in uh, X equals 5 and Y equals 80. And we solve for K to find the constant of variation. 5 times 80 is 400, so this is really 400K on the right side, or uh, 400K equals 1600 if you prefer. And then the idea is, of course, divide both sides by 400, and you'll get K equals 4. So that's the constant of variation. And then if you want to go further and find the equation of variation, you just, you, you just fill in the 4 right there, wouldn't you? And get Z is equal to 4 times X times Y.